Clint Cosgrove, Rivals.com. And uh, we got a big one here. We got the Nebraska Daily Double. This is about as good as it gets for Cornhusker fans. Isaiah McMorris, Davon Hall, two of the most sought-after receivers in the entire nation, staying home. I know there's got to be a lot of emotions, guys, but go ahead and I don't care who goes first, but I have to know, how does it feel to be officially be Nebraska Cornhusker? I mean, it feels, it feels amazing just representing my home state. My family can come see me, come see me play, my friends. Just like I'm, I'm just ready. I'm just excited to be a, a Cornhusker. Yeah, so, I mean, living here my whole life, growing up being a Cornhusker, I mean, this is a dream, obviously, for anybody living in Nebraska that's grown up in Nebraska. So um, this is a big accomplishment for me. For sure. Did you guys grow up going to the games and, and wearing the Nebraska gear? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. I, I went to I went to a couple games. Like my family, our situation, we can't really go to a lot of games. But when we could, I soaked it all in. I knew I knew I knew a lot about Nebraska. My, I got family that went there. Uh, there now it's Paul and Amon Green. So just carrying that legacy is gonna be nice. Yeah. Yep. That's big time. I bet you never thought as a little kid that you'd be uh, you'd be wearing that end someday. That's amazing. Yeah, yes, it's sir. Crazy. Yes, sir. So. Not only do we have two of Nebraska's finest receivers, we've got a, a homegrown quarterback coming in as well. A, a guy I know that you both know very well, and Daniel Kalen. Um, you know, tell me about his commitment and maybe how it influenced your guys' decision in the end. Well, I mean, it's kind of crazy because he flipped from Missouri. So um, we actually, we didn't even think that he was going to do that for real. Cause he kind of like talked about it a little bit, but um, I mean, we didn't think it was actually going to happen, but when it happened, we were shocked. So it was kind of exciting because uh, me and Danny talked about uh, playing on the same team in college when we were younger. So um, I mean, finally being able to do that is crazy. Kind of uh, fulfill our dreams. Yeah, for sure. When, when Danny flipped from Mizzou, he, I was, I mean, they was one of the first people that he contacted. So just like, it, it's, that's been going ever since he he uh, flipped and like coaching staff been on us harder, just just like playing with your QB. That's that's all you can wish for. You had that you already have that connection. So, um, in the, uh, Danny going to Nebraska is really what pushed me to go to Nebraska as well a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's wild. That's this is like dreams on top of dreams. Bunch of homegrown kids playing together, knowing each other. Uh, Danny obviously knows where his money's at because he uh, reached out to you guys right away. Um, because last time we talked, uh, both of us, or all three of us, was at Pylon 7-on-7 seven seven in Chicago where you guys both balled out, both phenomenal. I remember you had the viral toe tap in the back of the end zone, Davon, and then uh, Isaiah, you somehow defied gravity by jumping and then jumping again when you were in the air and yeah. securing that catch. Um that was unreal. I, I left that weekend being like, these dudes are special. So you were both phenomenal on that day. But, uh, you know, there was a lot left in the air in terms of your recruitment individually and together. You know, tell me what kind of changed between then and now and ultimately made you guys say, you know what, I'm going to stay home and represent my state. Yeah, I think what changed is just like me going on other visits. Like it just didn't feel it didn't, it didn't feel like home. And and like with Nebraska, like the coaching staff made me a priority. The I, I know the system well. I like just everything about Nebraska. Like my, I have family that went there, so just just staying home and playing for my hometown. There's no better feeling than that. Yeah, and so for me, by the last time that we were talking, I wasn't really talking to Nebraska that much. But um, I had just gotten back from a Penn State visit, and I was really feeling them for a little bit, and then I kind of stopped talking to them too. But um. I started talking to Nebraska again, and I felt like that was the place to be because um, I kind of I stopped talking to them because I wanted to know if like I really felt at home uh, in the, in this state. So um, I really felt a connection with when I started talking to the coaches again. So um, I knew like this is where I want to be. Like this is where I want to play football. I mean, I've been watching them. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been going to the games, seeing players. I mean, shoot, I, it's home. In the end, home is where the heart is. I understand wanting to explore your options. You know, you grow up and, uh, you know, you might have that tunnel vision of the home team. And then all of a sudden you get all this attention. So there's nothing wrong with doing that. But in the end, home, 
uh, is where the heart was. It, it seems like that for both of you. Uh, I, I know Husker fans. I mean, I called it the daily double. I mean, this is uh, you don't have this happen often. And um, they're going to be absolutely fired up. And I don't care who goes first, but I want to hear each of your message to the Nebraska fans who are going to be absolutely psyched out of their minds when they find out that you both just committed to them. I mean, shoot, I can't, I can't wait to play in front of all those fans. I feel like Nebraska is going to be on top real soon, and go be great. Hey, I'm not going to lie, bro. We are coming, bro. We're going to come messed up. I, I, we're going to come mess some stuff up. Like, I'm telling you, the Big okay. Ten is not ready for this, bro. The Big Ten is not ready for this. Scary, we, scary duo. Scary duo, bro. I'm telling you, bro. We got our QB, too. We've been playing with him for a minute. Like, this is about to be crazy. Also, y'all are giving so much to us. We're about to give back to you by getting the national championship, hopefully. Let, like, we're going to be working for that, like, every other year. Let's get it. Let's get it. Go be red. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The excitement. I mean, you two in the same same receiver room. We got Malachi from last year. Uh, you know, national championship aspirations. Like I said before we got on there, you look like bad boys. Bad boys for life. No, I'm excited for you. Bad boys for life. I'm excited for you guys. There you got it. Two of Nebraska's newest commits, Davon Hall, Isaiah McMorris, going to Nebraska, shooting for championships. I appreciate your time, guys. Of course.